Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Amy Nguyen and today I let my Instagram followers pick my makeup. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, please do keep watching and if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, the subscribe button down below. It only takes you a few seconds. So, I woke up this morning and couldn't think of anything to film, so I decided that it would be fun to let my Instagram followers decide what my makeup look today would be. So, on Instagram, I just posted a bunch of either this or that onto my story and had you guys picked. Starting off with concealer, I let you guys choose between the Too Faced Hangover RX and the Pores No More Primer by Dr. Brandt. I got 75% people saying the Too Faced, so we're gonna go with Too Faced because that's what you guys picked. I actually really love this primer, it's just so hydrating. Exactly what my skin needs right before I apply any foundation. So for foundation, I let you guys pick between the Fenty Beauty foundation and the NARS Radiant Long Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And you guys picked 69% Fenty and 20, 20, no, math, 31% NARS. So we're gonna go with Fenty for today. And for Fenty, I am just gonna apply this with a brush, because I know it doesn't go on very well with a um, beauty blender, so I'm just gonna clean off my brush here real quick. For foundation, I just like applying it straight to my face, so I'm just gonna pump it directly onto my face. This foundation's always a little scary because it does oxidize on me, but you know. match so this is Sephora but I'm feeling they did not do a very good job of color matching me because I think this is like a this has a red undertone but yeah it's already not matching that well but it's okay we'll bring it down our neck and I don't know I've actually never been like that huge of a fan of for this foundation I feel like maybe I've just never gotten the right shade or it doesn't do a very good job for my face like it dries down really quickly before I get a chance to like blend it that's like one of the things I have a lot of issues with. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Just filming my makeup tutorial right now. Oh. Uh, you want bubble tea? <laughs> sure. I don't know how this looks on camera, but it's not looking that great on my skin. Alright. I'm gonna go on a beauty blender and try to make it a little better. I've been a huge fan of this foundation. I was actually hoping you guys would pick the nose one because. Mars one isn't a huge favorite of mine either, but you know, I'm a fur challenge today. Alright, this we just have to do. Next we have our concealer. Let's see which what you guys picked. 81% of you guys picked the shirt. Shirt. Why is the shirt? So 81% of you guys picked the Tarte Shape Tape um, concealer and 19% picked the ColourPop. So ColourPop is what I normally use day to day. But today we're gonna go with the Shape Tape Concealers, which I did not bring out. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and dab some under my eyes. Damn, I don't know. I feel like this foundation really just emphasizes like all of my awful, awful spots. <sighs> I look really funny right now. I also put a little bit too much on, I think. Blend this out. Is it gonna go really well or really awful? We'll just have to find out. Yeah, this video is really solid because I'm a little anxious. <laughs> Alright, this is looking a little bit better with the Shape Tape concealer on. Definitely a lot better. Now, where do we go for her? So today, um, I gave you guys two options. Either the Hula Bronzer or the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze, which is one of my favorites. And you guys picked Hula Bronzer by 64 to 36%. So yes, we're gonna use the Hula again. Here I have a brand new Hula, because I hit pan on the other one. So get to open up my big old jumbo one now. Oh, it's all fresh. Just a 
going to go in with a tiny angled blending brush. This is the Morphe M405. Go in a little bit onto my brush and start patting it into my, the hollows of my cheek. Fendi foundation always like emphasizes all of my little, I don't know, bumps. Just, Fenty, why? Why don't you work for my skin? Alright. Now uh, we're gonna go in with some some contour. So it was between the Fenty Beauty matchsticks, which I've been dying to try. I haven't actually used these yet. And between the Anastasia contour kit. And you guys picked the Anastasia Contour Kit, 63 to 37. I haven't used this guy in quite some time, so, oh my nose itch. I'm using the light to medium, and I'm just gonna go in, oh god, it's itching. I'm gonna go in with my Velvet Luxe It brushes in 313, which is an angled sculpting brush. And I'm gonna go in with this center, dark center contour shade right here, this cool one. Go in, tap it all over, get it all over my brush. Brush excess off the side, and let's go in and pat this into the hollows of my cheeks. brush earlier that I used for my bronzer. I'm just going to dip back into that cool toned contour shade, brush off the excess, and let's define my jawline. Just brush that along my jawline, define that, brush it on my neck as well. Cool. Now using just whatever's left in the brush, I'm just going to blend out my cheek contour. Next, I'm gonna do my brows. I didn't give you guys an option on this one just because I use like only the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, and that's it. And I refuse to use my Anastasia one just because I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. So, camera actually stopped on me um, while I was doing my brows, but a good thing I'm not gonna show my brows anyways just because they took so long to do today that I am not gonna show them. But they, here they are. They're, they're here now. They're they're done, they're here, they're present. So yeah, on to the next thing. On. Oh, I didn't contour my nose. That's right. All right, so using that same cool shade I used for the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with my Lorac flat brush. And I'm gonna take some onto the sides of the brush there and tap it along the sides of my nose, just creating a really nice straight line shaping my nose and slimming it. Don't worry if it goes on a little harsh. We're gonna blend it out in just a second. And now that product's on there, we're gonna start blending it downwards, just using little micro circles of your brush and just brushing that down the sides of your nose. Also bringing it up to the brow bow with brow bone as well. Mostly. Focusing on those two lines and just blending it on out. And I'm gonna go in and tap this up the front of my nose. Let's give the illusion that I have a really cute nose that goes outwards like that. I am gonna go and contour the sides of my nose. I always use this brush. It is the Luxie 182. Going in with the smaller angle tip, I'm gonna, you're just gonna cut the nose. As you can see, it lifts it up a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna go in with some setting powder now. 
oh, this foundation is making me itch. So for the setting powders, I had you guys choose between the Fenty Beauty or the Laura Mercier. And Laura won by 70%. So we're going to use Laura to set today. So I always use a dry Morphe sponge um, for setting powder here. I'm going to dip into the Laura Mercier powder. It's one of those days. I'm going to go in and cut my contour. My cheek contour. Cut some product in there. Ugh, my foundation just doesn't look good. Alright, going in, I'm gonna go in and apply some setting powder onto the side of my nose and bring it underneath my under eye. Also, some onto the center of my forehead as well. And then, of course, really thin line down the center of my nose. Just gonna fix it just like that. Cool. So, we're gonna let this sit for a few seconds. Go in and buff the setting powder in with a stippling brush. Just gonna buff that on into my skin. I heard you're supposed to like buff this in really nicely so that it doesn't flash back. Alright, things are looking a little better, slightly smoother. Less crazy now. The place next to my nose is still super irritated though, it's getting a little itchy. Okay, alright, whatever. I've given up my face. So next, uh, for for highlighter, I gave you guys the option of Fenty or Dose of Colors Fuego by Dozen Katie, and you guys chose Fenty by 92%. Wow, a lot of Fenty fans out here. It's almost close to a face of full Fenty. Now, I wish you guys picked the Fenty Match 6, though, because I really want to use that. This is fine, too. So here I have a Fenty highlighter and Mean Money and... Hustle baby. So I'm gonna pick up some Mean Money first. I'll go in with my E61 brush and brush that onto the high points of my cheeks. And I really like this because it's very similar to the Laura Mercier face illuminator that I use underneath my um, doll beauty highlighter. It just kind of brightens your face up a little bit. It's just a very uh, subtle highlight. And now we're gonna go in with some more. We're gonna throw that onto the other cheek as well. Or the other, not cheek, but like cheekbone. I don't know, what are these terms? But just the high points of your cheeks again. Toss that there. And then to the side of your forehead. And then onto the, uh, <laughs> your brow bone. <laughs> Words bit onto the center of the forehead, a little bit on my chinny chin chin as well. Alright, now we're going to go in with the real highlight, which is a Hustla Baby on this right side. Pick some up onto my brush, fix this off, and let's just kind of pack this onto the very, like the, at the spots where like, your face reflects the light. Yep, right there. Let's see where else, right here, a little bit on the brow bone. Damn. Put that on to the high points. Alright, I'm gonna use another kind of fluffy brush. Just the land that it a little more. I don't know why I said it like that, but I'm just gonna blend it out a little more. And this Morphe B13, I'm just gonna go in and blend that highlighter out. There we go. Alright. Now I'm going to go with a pencil brush and apply some of that Sussle Baby down my nose. And then of course the little nice cute little dot on the tip of my nose. Ooh. And then let's get the inner corners of my eyes. I always like to do this first because once it blends out it looks really cute. I'm excited to see which palette you guys choose. It's been jumping back and forth. Let's get some of this on my Cupid bow. All right, so I gave you guys the option of the Soft Glam Palette or the New Nude, and you guys chose the New Nude by 72%. That's incredible, because my first post of this, 
Soft Glam was winning by like a lot. Everybody chose Soft Glam, but in the end, people wanted New Nude. Perfect. So excited to use this. I love this New Nude palette. So many pretty colors to choose. So I'm just gonna do a wash of Bare all over my lids really quick. This is the Morphe 456 going of Secret, and let's just apply that to the to the crease. That's the word. Drag that out to. And now with the Luxie 229 Taper Blending Brush, I am gonna go in with the color. We use Tickle. Let's go in with the color Tickle, and just apply that to the outer corners. some more tickle and keep applying that to the outer crease. I'm just going to blow them that outwards. I'm going to go back in and pick up that shade Secret earlier and lightly kind of brush it over that and blend it all out. This is a Morphe M456 and go in with the shade Raw, which is this kind of like reddish shade right here. I'm gonna apply that to the outer edges and only there. I'm just gonna pack it on to my lid right here. And using that brush I was using the blend earlier, I'm gonna go back in and blend that into the rest of the other eyeshadows. To be totally honest with you guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, we're gonna call that good for that. And now we're just gonna use a dense brush and pick up some of the, let's use Infatuated, which is a sparkly. Where's the camera? Sparkly shade over here. It even picks up, and I'm gonna tap that onto the middle and inner corner of my lid. It's literally just press glitter. It's not going on very well. Okay, that's not giving me what I wanted. So I'm gonna, let's go in with this shade of fantasy here. Yeah, this is a little more glittery. I'm gonna pat that on my inner corners and onto the center of my eyelid. There we go, that's giving me what I want. Just like some little glittery pop right there. These are bound to fall off though, I just know it. Where are all of my pencil brushes? With a pencil brush, I'm gonna go back into the shade Tickle, pick some of that up, and I'm just gonna, uh, what do you call this? Just gonna connect or I'm gonna shadow up my lower lash line. How about that? Let's call it that. And connect it to the edge, the other edge of my top shadow. All right, cool, cool. All right, there we have it. Now I'm just gonna go back in with my highlighting pencil brush and dab a little more of Hustle It Baby and back into my corner of my eyes. looking fire we did it we did it I'm always so nervous playing with eyeshadow because I'm not good at it honestly like I am just so bad at it but look at that we have eyeshadow on and now I'm just gonna use a black eyeliner I didn't have you guys choose this because I like I don't black eyeliners or black eyeliners to me they're like whatever I don't even draw like a real big line I'm just gonna line my lower lash Oh, I'm gonna line my lower lash line. I'm gonna line my upper lash line. That's what I meant. Just color in my waterline. Guys, all right, we're gonna curl our lashes now. And I didn't have you guys choose mascara either because you can't really see my mascara. Anyways, they're just gonna be covered in my 
falsies. Alright, using the Better Than Sex by Too Faced mascara, I'm gonna quickly mascara up my lashes. Give it just a quick little quick. And for false lashes, let's quickly see what you guys picked. Uh, so for lashes, I gave you guys a choice of the Iconic Lights or my new Doll Beauty lashes. And you guys picked the Iconic Lights by House of Lashes by 68%. So yeah, let's open those up. Oh, I still have to cut them. Yeah, these are the Iconic Lights right here. Right here. Quick, 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 quick. All right, for blush, I had you guys choose between my Tarte uh, blush book um, palette or my Narcissist palette, and you guys chose Tarte by 60%. So we're gonna jump into my Tarte palette and pick a color that goes with my eyes. Please don't die on me. So I think I am gonna go in, let's see, let's your fingers. Let's use Slumber Party. How about that? I like Slumber Party. I'm gonna go in with some Slumber Party. I get that on my brush. Have the excess off. And let's brush that onto my cheeks. Just using an angled a cosmetics blush brush. Chill. Yeah, I'm gonna let my camera rest a little bit and charge up and then we'll film an outro.